Hey, everybody's here on time today. Great job, class. We're off to a great start. Welcome to the latest installment in our DTF Film 101 informative series. For more information on how we're breaking down all these different episodes, you can check out the rest of DTF Film 101 by clicking up here. Now, there's a lot of different criteria that go into deciding what products we'll be offering to you, our customer base, and I want to break down a few of those today. In this episode, we're going to be going over GSM, our release layer on the film, as well as consistency. These are a few of the criteria that we look for before we provide the material to you, and definitely things you should be mindful of. So I hope you guys are ready. Class is now in session. Okay, everyone, now raise your hand if you know what GSM stands for. Okay, no worries. A GSM, by definition, is gonna refer to grams per square meter. And typically, the higher the GSM, the thicker the film or paper will be. Now, this is not a huge issue with direct-to-film as it is with sublimation, as we do have to worry about the ink bleeding on thinner papers. However, this is something you should be aware of when you're looking at your different direct-to-films. And OEM partners will also use this as microns, which you may have heard before. Now, typically, we see GSMs between about 75 to 100. And please know, anti-static layers, ink release layers, can add approximately between 5 to 10 GSM. Now, as far as individual sheet printing, it doesn't really matter too, too much as far as the thickness. However, we have found that 75 GSM works tremendous with pinch rollers for more production of a setup. Now, in the different films that we've tested globally, they have been very consistent, but we found that 75 has been pretty much the standard. Now, speaking of consistency, I don't care if you got one good print. You're wasting time, you're wasting money. We need to choose a good film that we know works. You guys see me yapping on the phone earlier? Consistency is the key to so many things in life and DTF is certainly no exception. I've said it once, I'll say it again. Over the last couple years, direct-to-film has been going crazy. And we've been seeing these different supplies, films from different manufacturers, different countries, hot peel, cold peel, Sheesh. Different films can give you different experiences and consistency is something paramount in deciding which products we offer our customers. Like I said earlier, we've tested 30 plus DTF materials globally, and let me be the first to tell you, they are not all created equal. Just because you get one good print one time, doesn't mean it'll happen again if you're not working with the right supplier. Understanding what goes into the material you work with should be important, and quality comes from big factories who know what they're doing. And that's a huge factor in determining which companies we partner with to help build your brand and your business. Hot cold or warm peel? You know, coating is applied to the PET film to initiate how the release layer is gonna be functioning. Now, depending on applying heat and pressure is all gonna be a factor here. Hot peel, just so you guys know, is gonna be a little bit more of an oily appearance and can actually give us kind of a glossy or almost sweaty sort of look. And because of the thickness of this layer, we struggled to find a consistent supplier that was able to produce hot peel batches that were gonna work batch in, batch out. Now let's look at some of these differences here. Cold peel is cold peel, just what it sounds like. And in my opinion, it's gonna be one of the safer coatings to work with as far as your DTF film materials. Now the pros on this, like I said, is gonna be the consistency and the safety, but we do have to let for the material to cool back to normal room temperature before removing it. Cold peel does not mean throw it in the freezer. Now warm peel, it's sort of in the middle between cold and hot. Now manufacturers may advise waiting perhaps between five or some odd seconds after you press before removing the actual material. This will have a little bit more of a coating than say the cold peel which we just talked about. Now hot peel, these films are treated for removal right after pressing. Now these are nice as they can save more time each piece and that can add up if the transfer is properly and evenly coated for this. Now here we have an example of a great release layer. This is gonna be from Ecofreen, one of our most reliable suppliers for such a variety of different printing, not only supplies and materials, but also equipment. Now let's take a look at this one here. One of the issues that I've seen, again, this coating is gonna to refer to how quickly we are able to remove the film once pressed. And again, if this coating is not even or properly applied, we can run into issues here, kind of struggle for the release. Due to the oily nature of the hot peel release coating, you can experience from time to time inconsistency or poor appearance in your print quality if we're working with inconsistent or non-reputable suppliers. At the end of the day, it's essentially very similar material. It's gonna come down to more release layer coating versus less. Now what if I wanted to say hot peel a cold peel film? Where's my transfer?
Manufacturing instructions are there for a reason, especially when it pertains to the release layer. You wanna follow these closely so you're not wasting your film, your ink, your garment, probably more importantly, your time. All right, class, that's pretty much gonna do it for today's session. I wanna thank all of you for coming to DTF Film 101. Make sure you guys are all subscribed so you can keep up with all the different episodes as we explore the different criteria that we look for in providing the quality films for you, our customers. Definitely things you should be mindful of when you're building your business with direct-to-film. My name is Estelle, and we're All-American Principal. I thank you guys all so much, and don't forget, film matters.